Okay guys, so welcome back to another uh, one of my uh, recycling videos uh, Gold recovery, e-waste uh, recycling So for this one guys, I'm going to be working on these um, ceramic CPUs that you see me smash up in a previous video So, uh, you can see all the little chips in here, just smashed up These are ceramic ones I smashed up, so you see the gold fingers on them there um, so I'm going to be working on these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weigh out maybe just 100 grams. I think that'll weigh out. Something around 100, 98, 99. Slightly over, so we'll take out maybe he'll bring it down. No, it didn't. Maybe he'll bring it down. Nearly. We leave it, we say it's called it 100, okay? So I'm going to do two jars of 100 grams and I'm going to put them straight into nitric. That's going to be the plan. Um, so, and then I'm going to do 100 grams and I'm going to put it in a separate video again at some other stage. Um, I'm going to put it into, just straight into Acoregia, just to see what actually will happen if I just put it into, um, straight into Acoregia rather than the nitric. I'm going to use nitric to try and get the gold foils off. Um, and to remove any of the gold like that that's on there, then gold um, that's on that, and then I'll filter it out, and um, we'll we'll um, we'll filter it, and then process it using probably uh, HCl and bleach, and gone off the HCl and nitric, the acaregia, um as in doing it once I have the flakes. But I'm just going to try uh, just a little hundred gram batch straight into acaregia just to see what will happen, just for a video to see if it's. Um, it would be a very bad mess to have to deal with and stuff like that because of the rest of the um, the metals that are in under these pins or is it because it, these are meant to be very good gold plated and uh, we still might get a good gold recovery but we'll see how it goes um, so for this video guys I'm just going to be working on two batches of 100 grams maybe three batches of 100 grams whatever and um, we'll take it from there so uh, We'll head outside now and we'll do the nitric and put them into the into the jars, put the nitric in with them and let them leave them for a couple of days and come back and see how it has processed. Put them on a little bit of heat uh, to speed it up maybe and um, we'll see see how it processes through it. Uh, so guys, let's go outside now and don't forget to wear the safety gear. I'll have the gloves on. Um, it's outside so um, I mightn't put the um, mask on but it's advisable that you do. So it depends on which way the breeze is blowing and stuff like that and how far away I'll be from it. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I might wear the mask anyway just for safety reasons. So guys, yeah, wear the mask, safety reasons. Okay. Okay guys, so we have the 100 grams of each of the um, ceramic chips into three different things. So I'm just going to do three of them actually. I'm just going to put my mask on. So give me a second there. Okay, so we have them slipping off. Okay, mask is on. Sorry about the sound. Uh, we've got the gloves on. Gloves are on. So we have the gloves. And we're just going to uh, cover these in nitric acid. So I poured some nitric into a little plastic container here. And we're just going to just cover the top of these. So it just covers them. Almost covered. Just a small bit more. So I have another bit. Built it a bit, but that's why you have a catch jar. So they're just covered. You can see a little bit of fuming coming off the top of them. Um, but see, that's why you wear your gloves. There's some nitric spilled there. So if I didn't have the gloves on, that was on my hands. So very important. So I'm just leaving them in pure nitric. You can see the fumes coming off it. So we're going to leave that. Actually, this one needs a small bit more. 
Okay, so I'm just going to leave that and let it work away and we'll come back to it in a couple of hours and see how it has progressed. So um, we'll come back in a few hours and see how that's progressed guys. Okay guys, so I have uh, left the solutions for actually a bit longer than I wanted, a couple of weeks now. Um, because I got busy with other stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour off the solutions essentially. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out. Um, I have another one left aside, but I'll pour that off in a few minutes. Just going to use the catch jar in case there's any spillage. As you can see it's a greeny colour. So there's still some of them not quite done, so we'll leave them aside. So I've just a jar there and they can be redone. But the last one look pretty well cleaned out. See there's some flakes sticking to the thing, so I'm going to just leave that for a second, pour the next one off, and we'll wash that out with distilled water. You can see some of the foils are still there, so they'll be redone in another batch. So you don't need to see me doing all this, we'll come back once the filtering has been done and we can actually see what's um, left to be done. So check back in a few minutes guys and we'll have a look when this is all filtered through and we'll see what we're left with. So you can see it's filtering through nice and easy there. So we'll let that work away and we'll come back in a while. Okay guys, so I'm nearly finished uh, filtering. So as you can see here, you can see the um, gold foils from the um, from the ceramics so I'll just put that aside for a second we'll deal with that in a second because I just have a little bit more filtering to do so I'll just get my uh, filter ready sorry guys I thought I'd be ready but I didn't We just have our filter here. So I've washed off the um, the last of the um, ceramics that were in the little container. So they've been washed off. Um, there will be a little bit of gold still left on some of them, so they'll reprocess them again. But it's not that much, so I've been off that. I'll just set up the. The filter so these have been washed in distilled water so and um, so all is in here now I've washed them a few times it is um, you can see in there you can see the foils and the pins and stuff like that so we're just going to run that through the through the filter so we'll just wash these pins down and um, So 
will be added to the, the rest of the foils and pins to be put into the Akarija. corner, just put them down. Okay, so we've been there. rest of the pins washed out. So we'll let that filter away and while that's filtering I'll take these out here for a second. So again I just have the papers there you can see there's different some when I filter through there's a lot more dirt in them. So I'm just going to stick on the gloves, I'm going to pause there while I stick on the gloves because again these filter papers may contain uh, as acid residues so I'm just going to um, put on the gloves so that I'm not getting any of it on my hands. Okay so we have the gloves on um, just to make sure there's no residue so we're going to start off with the first filter. All, I, all I'm doing guys is I'm just tipping it into a container and this container then I'll tip it into another container later but that's all I'm doing just brushing it off in there I hold on to the filters and I um, will um, show you how I deal with filters in case there's any gold left on them or anything like that um, in case any gold had gone into into um, solution so that's one Again, all I'm doing is just tipping out everything that was filtered out. I let them dry. I use a little bit of heat to dry the filters. So again, doesn't seem to be any foils left on it, but I just hold on to it just in case. Ball it up and put it into a little container. So again, you can see here with some more. Okay, just brush them off. Just the way I do it. Everyone has their own way of doing things. That's just the way I deal with them. So again this one is a lot dirtier. So we just try and brush everything that I can off the filter as best I can. There is some stuff still left on it, but the bulk of it has gone in there. Again, the filter I'll hold on to, to deal with later. Doesn't seem to be anything really on that, but we'll give it a quick brush off. bit so we have these foils here so again there's two filters we'll just take the top one off and leave the bottom one yet foils left there but that they can't be dealt with again at a later date and the last bit okay so this is what we have from them three jars of um, CPUs 
So there is a lot of little other bits and pieces in there, but I'm not too worried about them because okay, when it goes into the aqua regia, it will dissolve the gold and stuff like that. So um, any of these little bits that are left behind, like the rubber bits or whatever, that will be just filtered out at a later date. So it's not that much of it, but we still have this other filter to deal with. So as you can see in here, I've got these foils here. So I'm gonna let that dry. And I'm going to add that to that, so we'll come back when we add that, and um, then I think that'll be nearly it for the video, guys. Because well, the next stage will be the acaregia stage and the drop. So we we'll put the acaregia and the drop together for the next part. But um, we'll come back a few minutes once I've that, and we'll see how much we have going into the jar, and then we can move on to another video. Okay, so we have the last filter here now, and I'm just going to put the foils and the pins in there. Add them to the rest. Now, the thing about this I've noticed is a lot of them are still magnetic, so I may put them back into another bath of um, of HC or not HCl nitric to dissolve the um, the pins first. Where's my magnet gone? I can show you here what I'm on about. There's still a lot of. Um, metal in these that I probably want to get rid of before I put them into acaregia. So I'll just show you here by this magnet. You can see there the way that magnet has stuck to the bottom of that. So there's a lot of metal in there that needs to be got rid of first to make it um, a lot better for uh, dealing with. Because that's why I think it's happening a lot of my time is I'm not spending enough time getting rid of the metals and just making sure the gold foils are as pure as possible going in. So I'm probably going to put that back into um, my trick and put it on heat and dissolve as much of the base metals as possible um, from these pins, from the ceramics, um, just to get rid of as much of that base metal. Might even just, no, I'll probably put it into nitric because. Um, I've already got these done through nitric ones, so I'll probably do nitric again um, just to make sure that we get as much of the base metals as possible gone out of the out of it. Um, so guys, I'll probably call the video at that on this one, and then we'll deal with the putting these through the nitric again and then into the into the acaregia once we so you can see there how magnetic it is. Just um, an awful amount of of uh, base metal still in there to be cleared out. So you can see there by the magnet. Just by moving the magnet, you can see the bunch of base metals being dragged and the gold foils with them. So uh, that'll be it for this video, guys. So thanks for watching so far, and we'll see how we get on the next stage. Do you know these um, ceramic uh, CPUs? So guys. Would you put it into nitric? Would you put it into HCl first? Uh, let me know in the comments what you do, and we'll see. We might we'll follow, and um, we'll see what what advice you give. Um, my plan is to put it into nitric again, and try and get rid of as many of the base metals as possible in um, hot nitric or uh, warm nitric. So, guys, thanks for watching, and check you out on the check out the next video, and um, hope you enjoyed. And don't forget to leave a comment. What would you do? Keep on looking for that gold, guys.